Hello, Ian and Emma Cox here back again for the central points of TJ Ed from the blog, the article, what is TJ Ed? How about that? So we're on point number two. What is the purpose of education? It really breaks down into these two major components of the purpose, not just what is education, but the purpose, the core of education. In our last episode, we talked about this, this, uh, base point, the most important starting point of education being that every person has genius and potential greatness and that that should really instruct everything else that we do for education. That said, it's not the whole thing, right? Obviously it should color everything else because really that is so key to whatever else we do. But just knowing that you have genius or even just having that genius isn't the same thing as getting an education, right? So the purpose of education and is to go back to that idea to help develop these areas of genius, but also to do another thing. Cause it's not just about developing our genius. It's a little bit more than that. A good example of this. So obviously this first, the first piece of the purpose of education is finding and developing that genius, right? So the more knowledge and information we get in the stories we read will help bring that out. You come face to face with greatness. And when you're facing greatness, it's hard to not have that rub off on you and become great. And I think Einstein would be a really great example of this where if he just sat around and said, hey, I'm a genius and didn't do any of the hard work to develop his mathematical skills or the thinking and the theories. And if he didn't go through the hard work of obtaining just general knowledge, he probably would not be Einstein today, right? There's the <laughs> yeah. two components. You, you have a genius and you find it, you develop it. That's the foundation. That is number one. You develop that, you get that foundation because then the general knowledge piece comes in a lot quicker, a lot easier, a lot more powerfully, and it has context. It has purpose. And then you can become, and everybody in their own way, right? It becomes the, the Einstein, becomes that type of genius where they can change the world, where they can pioneer something. So the purpose of education really is this combination of developing that inner genius and also uh, obtaining general knowledge and skills that really help us to actually succeed in life in the various capacities. Um, specifically, in fact, I think it's really important because it helps us to flourish personally and also to, to uh, improve the world, to improve society by giving meaningful service. Because that's, you know, when we're looking at what is the purpose of education, is it to just know stuff? To be smart, you can uh, give an answer that somebody else can't. Is that what you're looking? Is that, that's that's not the purpose. That's not the point. Because or at least everybody... it's not the whole picture. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> it can be the... well. <laughs> the way it's like I know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's clearly missing no, something. That's, that's not the part she was talking about. It was the rest of it that she <laughs> was referencing to. I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> Knowing stuff is important. It's a piece of education specifically. But it's but not about the others. It's about right. when you see Einstein. There were things he didn't know that other people did know and you fill each other's gaps when you're seeking the purpose of education. When you've got a genius, you know what it is and you add the general knowledge, the, the breadth and the depth of just knowledge and skills, everything you can obtain through the, the time and energy that we have available to us, then you, hey, the, the rising tide raises all ships. People, Some people will be geniuses at some things and others at other things, right? We've talked a lot about this genius. So then when you add on to it, the, the hard work of developing, of, ha of being well-educated, again, having good breadth, and then in your specific areas of passion and genius, having a great amount of depth, that's powerful in enabling you to serve society, to actually impact and change, which is, that really does get, and helping you in doing that, it's hard to do that if you're not personally flourishing. If you're not, if your uh, well isn't full, it's hard to go and fill other wells, right? To give that and pass it forward. So that, that really is the purpose of education. It's not to know a bunch of facts, but those facts enable that information, the principles, the understanding, the thinking, knowing how to think enables your ability to flourish and then to serve. And especially when we're talking about education, I mean, we're not talking about any or, or every other specific aspect of great leadership or great success, but specifically education, obviously it really does make sense that having a certain amount of general knowledge would come in. And it absolutely does. I think, unfortunately, uh, a lot of times when we're thinking about education, we, we want to swing the pendulum one way or the other and say it's 
Oh, it's only about just, just your niche. Just develop that one thing that you're good at or that you love and that's all that really matters and then you're well educated. And yet you're missing this whole other piece where you don't even understand the greatest ideas and conversations that humanity has been through, you know, over the ages. And that's sad, that's missing a piece and it certainly is missing a piece of what it means to be truly educated. But at the same time, if all you have are these facts and details, even if you really understand the great ideas but you haven't truly paid the price to know your own genius and to develop it so that you can then go out and live your mission, you're also missing a hugely important piece. So I think understanding this sort of holistic picture of what education is, that it really is the harmony, the balance between understanding, developing, and really living your genius, but also rounding that out with the general knowledge and skills that really allow you to take that genius to the world so that you do personally flourish and so that you do truly improve society through your meaningful service.